Hello everyone, Fluffy here. Happy Sunday. What I have for you today is basically a tasting and review of three items that I have. Wait, yeah, one, two, <coughs> pardon me, three items that I have. I don't know if you've noticed it yet, but in the bottom of my frame when you start watching this, I don't know if it comes up right away or it stays, that one of them is... I think it said something like paid promotion, paid sponsorship, or something like that. Um, and it is for the very last item, the third item that I'm going to talk to you about. And I'll explain a little bit more about why I put that, why I felt like I had to put that. Um, uh, so we'll, uh, hang on, let me just turn this off. So I'm getting a glare. Okay. The first item that I want, I'm trying to do it in the order of flavors. So the first thing that I want to try is the Reese's whipped cream, the one that I had. And it's looking backwards to me here, but hopefully that means it's going to be the right side. If not, I will take screenshots, okay? So I haven't tried it. And what I'm going to be having it on, I don't want to just... <laughs> In case I don't like it. Look, I'm shaking the ice cream, y'all. <laughs> Is remember I showed you all the Halo Top uh, ice cream? I'm going to have it on that. It is, uh, there's two servings left of it. Because one-fourth is like, I forgot how many carbs. I said it in my thingy. But, um, mm, mm, it's like almond vanilla some. Chocolate almond crunch, but you don't taste a whole lot of the chocolate. So I guess we had a review of this too. I guess I could put this as a review. Uh, tasting it, you can tell that it's made with um, almond extract. Not real chocolatey to me. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I guess I had four things to review. <laughs> oh. I would recommend this. Since I'm recommending it, I'm going to get a carb count. There's four carbs per serving, so what we did was we scored it in four and just take out a fourth. 11 carbs a serving, 6 grams of sugar. It says half a cup, servings per container, four. So, and then this one, I had said before, less than a carb per serving, and it's two tablespoons. So, let's try it. I know somebody else had it. I didn't like it, so I'm really hoping I like it. That's what it looks like. It smells like Reese's. So, let's see. Try it. Has the feel and texture, of course, of whipped cream. When you initially put it in your mouth, I taste chocolate peanut butter. Does it taste like an actual Reese's peanut butter cup? No. Um, now that I've had a couple of tastes of it, the, my initial taste, it had kind of a slight aftertaste, but now it doesn't. Now that I have it, mm. and together with the ice cream, it tastes even better, y'all. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would buy this again. Ice cream, score of 1 to 10, I would say a 9. The Reese's, score of 1 to 10, an 8. Seven eight. Like I'm gonna get me a little more. <laughs> that is good, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. 
should have used a wooden spoon. This metal one is getting cold. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mmm. Woo. Cold. Water was warmer. Okay. Oh no, you went up here trying to smell. Big dog. I don't understand. Okay. The next one. This came from uh, when I did the Walmart haul because the dogs needed some dry dog food. Okay. The carb count says two carbs per serving. It's bacon barbecue. I think it's Parmesan chips, like the ones that I had for before. Okay. Serving size is about 23 crisps, uh, about two servings per container. So it's giving me a per, per serving and a per container. So I'm going to give you the per container. This whole thing is four carbs. Four carbs. A uh, bunch of calcium because it's cheese. And it's 480 grams of sodium. So... It's still not bad, so I'm just really hoping. I, I was going to do this first but and do the sweets after, but I'm, I was afraid that the Parmesan and the barbecue flavor would be too strong, and it would just kill the flavor of this. So, well, this apparently some diet chips because it's too much bagging. I think they made the bag this big just for all the wording. <laughs> How small they are. Yeah, that's a black, the black finger, y'all, for when I drop the phone on it. Yeah. Okay. Let's taste it. Mmm. Definitely that. Barbecue flavor, like on chips. And you don't really get the Parmesan flavor until you've almost got all the barbecue flavor off of it. But really good. And I'm sure those carbs, because this is Parmesan cheese, so it's zero carbs, is from the barbecue flavoring. I'm pretty sure. Mmm. Real hard. And because it's cheese, I like it. Would I buy it again? Yes. And it's a good change of pace from chicharron, pork, pork rinds. Scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 10. It's really good. It really is good. If you're not into Parmesan cheese or stinky cheese, as some people call it, I don't know if you'd like it. Um, but it's not like Parmesan till, and, unless till the very end. So I would recommend this one again. It was a little pricey because anything low carb and it is Parmesan cheese. Um, I want to say four bucks. Could be more. Just um, go to walmart.com and I put wisps in. I'll see if you can get a price. If I can look it up and get a price, I'll put it up here. Okay. This last thing. Yes, this is. Shut up, Mona. I guess it is shut up, Mona. Because any soda is shut up, Mona. <laughs> okay, because I'm not going after that right this second. I'm going to put that here so I don't knock it over. All right, this is the last item. When you look up sponsorships and stuff, even the top people, when you go to the um, the help part of it, they tell you that YouTube tries to keep it in a gray area. I went ahead and said that it is a, this video was being sponsored. 
I didn't get paid for this next tasting. What they did was they sent me free merchandise and all they did was ask if I would include it in one of my videos. Um, so I agreed to do so. And because I didn't pay for the product, I didn't get an extra check. And I told y'all in the very, very beginning, like my first three or four videos, that if I ever got sponsorship or was ever getting paid for um, using a product, I would tell y'all right away because you know how I feel about that. So, um, that's that's what it is. And I just wanted to be honest with you. So I'll be tasting these but I'll also be reading some information, not personal experience, just information. I know it looks like a lot of writing, y'all, but I'll try to go through it as quickly as possible because we're already 10 minutes in. Uh, just give you vital information. I will try to put a link, some links at the bottom for this stuff, and I'll try to be as honest as I can. What it is, it's called Vitor Energy, and what they are are caffeine mints, okay? So the prices of them is they come in containers like this, okay? This is, this contains 20, make sure I got it right. Okay, each uh, tin contains 20 mints. And this is the size that you will get. It is $5 for one of these, $4.99 for one of these tins. They come in different flavors. Uh, a six pack, you can buy it by the six pack for $20 and then a half pound bulk bag for $34.99. It says uh, one, one mint has the amount of caffeine of an eight ounce cup of brewed coffee. It also contains approximately half the amount of caffeine as a standard sized energy drink. Each mint is 900 milligrams by weight and contains 40 milligrams of caffeine. Um, it is certified kosher by Star K, whoever that is. I don't know if y'all know. And when you go to the website to get info, that car that Star K is highlighted, so you can click on it and go to that website. It's vegan and gluten free. It is also dairy, soy, and wheat free. Uh, there is on on the samples what I also what they also sent me are sample packets and. Since it's so high in caffeine and uh, and it warns you, because somebody asked, could you, uh, one of the questions was, can you have uh, caffeine with it? Can you have coffee with it? And it says that do not consume more than five per hour or 10 for the whole day. It is very caffeine forward. And on the words, a warning on this, on these, it's do not, uh, do not take if you are pregnant nursing under 18 or sensitive to caffeine so there is that warning so i'm only going to try one okay this one is cinnamon flavor the one they sent me in the tin they have um, peppermint flavor winter green flavor chocolate mint flavor and spearmint and i'm going to try the chocolate mint one when i get ready to and they also had a promotion. When you go on there, it asks you, do you want to chat? And it looks like a bot that you're going to be chatting. But in the bot program, and I don't know if it'll come up every time, it said they have, they're have they having a special promotion where you can get sample packs and all you, for free, all you do is pay this, to, uh, I wrote down $266. It may be $299 shipping for the shipping. And I'm assuming you'll get four or five of these because here's the four, but I got the cinnamon. So you could try it that way if you wanted to. Okay, that has a shelf life of two years and uh, each tin has a best sell by date on it. Can I consume both mints and coffee? Yes, but watch caffeine intake. Um, it's got sorbitol, xylitol, sucralose, natural and artificial flavors, the caffeine, of course, Calcium stearate, vitamins B3, B6, B12, and folic acid. Um, and made, made in an FDA approved facility in Canada. But once they told me they were going to send me, um, send this to me, it was pretty quick getting here. So, um, 
let's try it also said these are very very strong mints so if you don't like strong mints they suggest this is probably not the mint for you how many businesses tell you this is not this may not be for you you know i mean they kind of have to with the caffeine part of it but not if you don't you know what i mean i don't know i just that was cool to me Viter energy is what it's called Let me show you this one and if you go to viterenergy.com, like I said, I'll try to put links and I'll try to remember. This is the chocolate mint. Definitely mint, and I definitely smell chocolate. And it's kind of off-colored like, like there would be chocolate in it. And there's also artificial flavor and colorings that said it. That doesn't sound like I, I said that. Okay, so let's try it. Minty, nice chocolate flavor, like you stuck your finger in hot chocolate mix and did it. But as you suck on it, the chocolate flavor goes away. And then it's, I mean, it's really back there in the, all right now. Come on back. Here we go. It's somewhere back in the back, but... After sucking on it for a couple of seconds, the mint really comes forward. It's not as strong as the mints in the tin. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but it's a nice mint flavor. Okay. Um, would I get the chocolate mint one again? Probably not. It's still got the chocolate looking flavor, but I guess for me, chocolate and mint... No. No, I wouldn't do that again. So since I didn't have it all, because I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm not that sensitive. Spearmint or wintergreen? Let's do the spearmint. Oh, we'll try the spearmint one. I'm just gonna... All right, this one looks more like a mint. This one had texture on it, the chocolate one, but this is got little bits of it in here like but it's shiny there you go can you see that yeah there you go kind of shiny and slick like you would think of a mint mm. very strong good spearmint flavor see this is more my style when, when i think of mint you know what i mean i'm not sure about that chocolate one Viter Energy, I'm not putting y'all down. I'm going strictly by taste. But since there's caffeine in it, I know some of our fibro, you fibro warriors, you know, we have problems getting moving in the morning. And if you don't like uh, coffee, you know, tea doesn't have as much caffeine in it in coffee, I don't think. I, I haven't done, I haven't Googled it or anything. But, or if you're not into tea or not really not into energy, energy drinks, this might get you moving one of these. You know, it's caffeine. So, um, would I get one to take them to take it with me and stuff? Because these tins are really cute. They're really small. Convenient. There's 20 in here. For five dollars to keep it in your purse or by your side? I would say yeah. These are, are pretty strong mints. Um so, just head on over to the website, check it out yourself, look around, read the information, educate yourself on it. And so, as far as flavor, the spearmint, from 1 to 10, as far as flavor goes, I would give it about a 6, 7. The chocolate mint, maybe a 3. But overall... Anything with caffeine in it is going to give you a boost. I can't speak of how well it works because I haven't had a whole one. And I'm not going to make this that long that I would sit there and wait. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so there you have it. Fluffy's tasting day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's short and sweet. But just some things that I've been wanting to do to tell y'all about. And I've been gathering information about this Viter Energy. So, um, having said that, 
Hoping you're having a really great weekend. Mine was pretty good. Went to the gym yesterday. Uh, so, um, and in the next mukbang or whatever, uh, I'll tell you what happened at the gym. Workers, workers. <laughs> but this is all about the tasting today. God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. I love y'all and I will talk to y'all real soon, okay? Bye.